Hello, so I have a updated Lazy Man's asparagus soup. I should call it cream of asparagus soup. And this time I left out the flour because even though it tasted pretty good last time, this time, I think last time it kind of had too much of a white sauce taste to it. So this time I just used the cornstarch. Also this time it dawned on me to use the immersion blender. What I did is, well, I'll explain. I recorded it and I think I said what I did. I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, so here's the updated better version of Lazy Man's asparagus soup. It's cream of asparagus soup. And like this time I used the, like with the evaporated milk, the uh, like instead of the low fat, I used like the full fledged thing, you know, 12 ounce can, I believe which I looked on the can and a 12 ounce can of evaporated milk is 12 servings at 40 calories a serving so it's 480 calories the evaporated milk part and this time I used a half a cup of milk whole milk this time and the two tablespoons of cornstarch and you know like before two bags of from Walmart you know like those bags of asparagus you know that are like pre-bagged and then I cut it up and stuff Anyway, this recipe was like even better, so, and I did it in the aroma rice cooker, which I feel like is super easy to do. So this is an update to my cream of asparagus soup, Lazy Man's asparagus soup. So this time I made it in the aroma rice cooker like last time, but this time I remembered to use an immersion blender. There were some pieces I didn't get, but most of it. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks better. And this time I didn't use any flour. I just used two bags of like, you know, the asparagus from Walmart, the, you know, the kind that's prepackaged. And then I cut those up and I got rid of the very ends. And then I put, let's see, I steamed those in the rice cooker with some water at the bottom of the steamer, but I used a little tray thing the plastic insert to steam them and then as soon as they were steamed I just put them in the refrigerator and then I used the rice cooker again but I used the slow cook setting and just put like a, probably like a quarter stick of butter in there and then I chopped up an onion and I just turned on the slow cooker thing for like I don't know five or ten minutes and stirred it then I added, this time I added like a big can. I think it was 12 ounces. Last time I added a big can, I think, but I used the low fat evaporated milk. This time I used like the regular evaporated milk. And then I left out the flour this time and I added two tablespoons of cornstarch and a half a cup of whole milk and, you know, some salt, garlic powder and pepper. And I think that's it. And then I use the immersion blender and then I, oh, and I added the asparagus and then I turned on the rice cooker, but I only had it turned on for maybe 10 minutes and I, it didn't even start the countdown thing yet. And then I just opened it up and it was all done. And I just tried it and it's really good. It's kind of needing more salt. So I just added some more salt, but it's really good. And the consistency looks good. Probably when you warm it up, like in the microwave or something, you probably have to add some milk to it, but it looks pretty good.